Hello everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to the Crossroads Caravan. It's Scavenger Scout here, and we're going to be playing more The Outer Worlds. Alright. Uh... I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave cereal. No way, are they upstairs in the cafeteria? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, I was watching this program. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang Girl Detective? Mr. Bertie Holcomb! That toss baller! That's the episode with Ruth Bellamy, right? Been meaning to catch that. Alright. Glad to see they're getting along. <laughs> People have been playing games. <clears throat> Everything seems to be well furnished. Nice little dartboard. Nobody yet. The vicar. Mr. Max. We got Pravati's room. <laughs> Her original wrench. Sam's place. Ah, Max's. A dark matter bar? Ooh. Eh. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking around because I know we picked up a couple different things. Him. Mysterious bottle of hooch or disinfecting equipment, probably. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Uh... Here we go. Hey, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yes, please. Thank you. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating <gasps> culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I, I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. Yeah, yeah. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I'm I mean seeing. when we arrive on Monarch. Alright. Uh, seems like you've been the Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. Huh? I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? <laughs> hey, Alright. Hmm. Where should I, uh, where should, yeah, where should I start at? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I Damn. recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. All right. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Mm, got some questions first? Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Uh, so let's go to his lab real quick, because I've never been. Yeah, docking bay for Phineas's lab, then. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Oh, do we need to talk to anybody? Felix. Good to see you, boss. How you doing, dude? Okay. Hey, Captain. Karate? I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. That's what she said. Uh, what's up, dude? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Yeah. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. 
Good. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Oh yeah? That's sweet. Can I help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. <laughs> I smell like sweat most days, and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Oh, easy enough. We could head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy, or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Ravati, we're going to go get you bath supplies immediately. That is our new priority. <laughs> Ravati is an angel and she should be treated as such. <laughs> we have to get this relationship to work for her. Has approved our request for docking, Captain. Your, your happiness. Yeah, her happiness is the only thing that matters right now. <laughs> Uh, don't bite the sun. Here we are. Oh, shit. We need to talk to Max and Ellie. What am I doing? Looks like I got two more people in my crew. Hey, Max. As always, I am at your disposal. Something vexing you, Captain? Uh... Talk about this personal quest here, is huh? Yes, I've been meaning to discuss exactly that. Now that we know where, uh, the Scholar is, when will we be searching him out? As soon as I can, I promise. Hey, damn. Mm -hmm. Ellie? Something on your mind? Apparently not. All right. Damn. Apparently, Pravati's the only person with anything to say. Let us get a move on then to the groundbreaker. One piece, Captain. Oh, there's that diet toothpaste. <laughs> Oh, Spacer's Choice did get to sell it. Okay. Because it was Aunt Cleo's, remember? And then we took it from her and then sold it on the black market. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. Meow. Forgot to take one of my meds. Well, it's like my only med. Uh, do, 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 do. Definitely need me some water. Okay. Had to drink water, sorry. It's stealing. I see glowy boxes and I'm like, loot? <laughs> All right. Hey, I got a question. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I'm sorry. Uh, my engineer, <laughs> yeah, she's looking to do some deep cleaning. Wants to impress Chief Jun Lee. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. Mmm. High grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. Hell yeah. I still got them too. How much you want? What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Huh? Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or a refurbished ship? Mm. Uh... 
Uh, engineer might like refurbished ship. Scrub parts and all that. Like grit and grime covered over with cleaner, you mean? Well, that's a smell it means we're really going places. <laughs> I'll just wrap that up for you. For body. Since it's for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll pay for that, ma'am. Oh, Thanks no for shit. being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. <clears throat> I would have gladly covered that. All right. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Take it easy, buddy. All right. Are you happy, Pravati? I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. Yeah. So there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch: dust back casserole, saltuna mm. and Zeno Gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's ah. made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right. All right. We'll get you your dish. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure Ooh. it's going to be worth it. You're just trying to get a good date night going on. I get it. <laughs> Good for you, Pravati. It means that you're willing to show, you're willing to put in the effort. Uh, do you guys got any good mods? Ouch. Mm. <laughs> so I guess I'll purchase that for later. We're good. <laughs> oh, I was like, where are the stairs? Did I pass them? <laughs> My brain stopped working. Brain that's fueled by top ramen and breakfast food. Bum bum bum. It is Scavenger Scout. Bum bum bum. Oh god. <laughs> Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. I adjusted my audio because I was watching previous episodes. I felt it was a little too quiet. Like no, I can I can boost that just a little bit. Make it louder and prouder. I finished up some terrain today. Well, not today. Yesterday I just didn't upload it. Cause yesterday sucked. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, Ada. Monarch. Oh, we need to go to Phineas' lab real quick, that's right. We have successfully arrived at Phineas' orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Damn. <laughs> Negotiate with territory. Saw. Rocks, no, never touch this. <laughs> we will need more security. That's funny, he's just marking things down. I can't read what he scratched out. It was Annie Cleo's something at one time. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Does this work? Yes. Oh, damn it, blast, that's loud. Okay. This way, Phineas. Where you at, dude? I'm just 
securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. That's fair. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. That's fine. Oh, welcome. Hey, dude. <laughs> right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. No. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Thank you. What it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. Nah, it's fine. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board, and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Meh, it's cool. Let us talk about something, though. Of course. What's on your mind? Mm, well, I get why you're behind the bulletproof glass, but you got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our possible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Oh, yeah. Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted <laughs> privacy. Relax, they're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. Mew. Yeah. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Doing pretty well for myself, actually. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases yeah. me immensely. Progress. Uh, something I want to talk about. What's on your mind? Yeah, why well, you be on the glass, anyway? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured. But, uh, from a safe distance. <laughs> Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Nice. Alright, take it easy. Kinda came here for this. Shrink ray? Aha! Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device. Better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. That's awesome. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Do I hear a cis pig in here? I do. Experimental notes. Uh oh. Difficult. Mm. Flash frozen organic material or reverse back to organic cell structure when treated with tincture of dental oh jesus artificial stasis successful fresh out of aunt cleo's experiment spacer's choice small cream substance all right sis pig read that if you want to no way in hell Hibernation helm. Oh, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. That's fair. Alright. Pause that and read it if you need or want. It's a lot, man. So you're a cis pig, huh? Hello. Yeah. Oh, he 
he's got the posters. Okay. <laughs> Obscure body in the SK system. One of the things. Seals leak. Never use this. <laughs> If you say so, buddy. Hibernation chamber. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere twenty-eight percent. That makes me feel great. Oh, that's one we read. Sis pig. Vehicles. What were mechanical? <laughs> Screw 14. Remember it it's this time. <laughs> this pig hoof. Mop up the melted pig. <laughs> uh, tamed cannon. 2.0. Pocket watch. More mechanicals. Damn, I wish I had that hack up. Any hmm. more posters or anything? Salmon. Extinguish plasma cutter before returning. Jesus. All right. Oh, is this one of those uh, raptodons? Yeah. Things are beautiful. He's got an alpha in there too, so it looks like or colossus. All right. Let's get up out of here. So Phineas Wells, he's kind of a cool dude. Now yeah, we get to go use my new nav key, and I get to go to Monarch. So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> Breakfast, that's what I want. I haven't eaten or anything. I woke up, rolled out of bed. I was like, uh, 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 time to record. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts are the best thoughts, especially in the morning. Brain's like half working. Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Kill. I got posters. Uh, weapons of the void. Is there another? Oh, you guys leveled up. Ooh, range weapon. Cover twenty-five health when fatally wounded. Yes. Felix, what you got going on? Corporate military, equip time, companion, chance to reset, nah, nah, nah. Down with the court rebellion. Down with the corporation. What's your special? Synchronicity, tactical time. I guess we'll go with tactical time, huh? Less. Oh. Yeah. What do you do? Science weapon damage. I'll take it. <laughs> uh. 
All right. Let's go get that wet piece from the groundbreaker. We the groundbreaker. And then we'll go to Monarch. We can miss a weapon piece here. Slim and shine. Diet toothpaste. Made from real Raptodon. Which apparently are over at Monarch. <laughs> That's where Raptodons are native to. Cannons are native to Terra. <laughs> <laughs> and sprouts are native to the galaxy. Fuck it. <laughs> Good stretch. Ooh. There we are. back here? What is this? I have not been back here. I've everywhere I've been in the fucking groundbreaker. Hard. We just found stuff and the things. It's stealing. Okay. Yo, this is that ventilation thing we were reading about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hushing up. Echo! No? Nothing? Oh well. Felix. I did not mean to use that. Go. Let's take him down. Fascinating girl. Yeah. Did you do that again? Scratch my ear. Whoa. That was very quick. That was really quick and clean. Oh, I was like, what is in my way? Looks like they're just back here uh, grabbing supplies. Oh, no, they had a whole little shipment thing back here, did they? Workbench. Okay, just got anything cool? I don't know if you had anything cool back here. Got my science weapon schematic, I guess. Oh, there we go. Prismatic hammer. Hammer was working on a hammer weapon, the pulse hammer. When its rival company, Aramid Ballistics, stole the plans, rushed its development, and beat them to the market all right. while ridiculing Hammersmiths while the marketing campaign about them having no hammers in their weapons line. Hammersmith ex executives demanded the ultimate hammer to be produced, but this prototype was so expensive that it never entered production. Jackpot. Anything else up in here? Discovery, mystery, troubles, and annihilation. 
Alright. Pause them if you wanna. So what's with this magic hammer? This super hammer look like. Damn. Oh, it's got plasma and stuff. Hang on, what? Two handed. Special effect is knocked down. Right. Like my antichrist. And, uh. Anarchist cookbook? That's what it's called. Shit, I wish it was good. Uh, shrinkway. What am... That's not doing anything for me right now. I'm gonna use that shrinkway. <laughs> no way. Alright. Oh, it's like working as we hold the trigger. Okay, uh, 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 this way. Alright, now I think the groundbreaker is clear. Now we can go to modern. New planet. New planet I have never seen. I'm all excited. I'm so happy. And we got a shrink ray. That's not fun. I really love the little advertisements they have for loading screens. They look like postcards. <laughs> Load, damn you. Load. Please load. P -p 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 Please. There we go. Good. You've returned. I missed having a purpose while you were gone. That's awesome. <laughs> Super convincing. Alright. Monarch, here we come. Jesus. So, warning, dangerous, Cascadia. What is a Cascadia we need to do? We are in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Alright. Dangerous, warning. Monarch. Curious on what it looks like. Even the roseway back on Terra was still beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Surprised I didn't have any singing for Monarch. Halcyon owned, apparently. Loading and we're loading. Warning, dangerous. Yes. There's like angry shit everywhere I hear. Oh, that looks cool. Without the sky tearing, it looks cool. Um, it looks like we're going to have to explore more in this next episode. So you have a good morning, good evening, or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. This has been Scavenger Scout. And we are signing out. <laughs>